G'day viewers, power outages or blackouts can happen from time to time. While it might be a bit of an inconvenience for us, they can spell big trouble for your aquarium. So if you've ever panicked when the power went kaput, or come home from work to find your gorgeous gold is gasping, stay tuned because there is a solution. Most battery backups or uninterrupted power supplies are really designed for computer systems to allow you to save all your data and shut it down safely when the power goes out. It's not really going to help us, it's not going to keep a pump or a filter going for very long at all because the batteries just aren't big enough. Unless we go on a massive commercial scale and who really has the space or the money for something like that. So I thought I'd do a bit of research and try and work something out for myself. Now there's no specific information out there but there's lots of tables on wattages and amps and current and look, to be honest, it was a bit of a headache to try and work it all out. So this is the system I eventually came up with. It's fairly simple, there's only three main components. The first component is our battery. I've used a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery. And deep cycle batteries are normally used by caravanners and campers. And they differ than the battery that starts your car because they're designed to be drained slowly and then charged back up. Secondly, I have a smart charger, which will charge the battery up after use. Just make sure you get one that can charge deep cycle batteries. And the brains of the operation is this 1000 watt Renergy UPS inverter. The inverter means it converts 12 volt from the battery to the 240 volt on the mains. And the UPS part means it will use mains electricity while it's available. And as soon as there's a blackout, it'll draw power from the battery, switching over automatically. And last but not least, just a cheap voltmeter connected directly to the battery, and it will tell us what the battery state of charge is. Now a bit of a warning here, the next part does contain some math, but I promise I'll be quick and try not to get too technical. Deep cycle batteries are designed to be drained and recharged over and over again but draining a deep cycle battery of more than 50% of its capacity will lead to premature failure. So a 100 amp hour battery divided by 50% gives us 50 amp hours of storage. To test this out, we're gonna use a 2000 liter an hour canister filter, which is rated at 55 watts. And according to this table, 55 watts should draw about four and a half amps. So we test with our multimeter and that's about right. Our 50 amp capacity in the battery divided by four and a half amps per hour gives us about 11.11 hours of runtime. So to simulate the power cut, we turn the power off to our UPS and we have a look in the resting voltage of our battery is 13 volts. Resting voltage is the voltage the battery displays when it's been sitting for at least an hour as opposed to working voltage which is the voltage it'll display when it's being used. So what we're aiming for is 50% which is 12.05 volts. If we go any lower than that we will start causing our battery some damage. Now five hours in and we're at 12.6, which is our working voltage, not resting voltage. So I think we're on track. Now 11 hours in. Our working voltage is 11.7, .7, which seems a bit low. But once we disconnect the load, we're straight up to 12.1, which is where we want to be. Which shows I can get 11 hours back up out of this without causing any damage to the battery whatsoever. So next time you have a blackout at your place, keep the power on with this DIY battery backup UPS system and keep your fish alive and happy.